Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Today's special guest is Miss Tutu, live in action. She's back at my place. Look how big Tutu has gotten. Tutu is a big growing girl. Say hello, Tutu. Welcome to my aunt's channel. Watch her channel, subscribe. <laughs> that was Tutu, not me. Mm. Hi, so I'm looking um, like a mess right now because number one, my hair is totally oiled up, so I look a little bit greasy. Um, and my face is just a mess because I'm just a mess. That's me right now. So uh, yeah, welcome to my channel. I don't know what we're gonna be doing in today's video, but there is some things I wanna do, some things I wanna share. Might be some cleaning, might be some cooking, might be some beauty related stuff. Um, definitely cats, cats is on the list. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's get started. So it's actually 1 p.m. I started off my morning with some coffee. We've been using the Kroger Medium Roast Donut Shop Blend. So that's what I had when I first woke up. Then I took some vitamins. I've been taking these Goli Super Fruit Gummies. They're really tasty and they're for beauty, wellness, and nutrition. They are loaded with tons of vitamins and super fruits and they're chewy. They taste really good. Um, you can get these online. I'll have my link down below as well as a coupon code or you can find them in some stores. I found mine in HEB. So this is the Kinder Beauty Box that I will be unboxing later in my video. I'll show you everything that I got and I'll also be testing out all of the products. Kinder Beauty is a subscription box that is clean, vegan, and cruelty free. Subscribers get up to $165 worth of hand-picked skincare, makeup, hair products, and accessories for as little as $23 a month. The first box that you receive will be the box that I received, which I think all of you are going to absolutely love. And any new subscribers who sign up for a three to six month plan will automatically receive a free bonus box with their first shipment, and it's valued at $85. You can also earn rewards and each month Kinder Beauty will donate a portion of the profits to their premier charity partners. Kinder Beauty was co-founded by actresses and ethical entrepreneurs Daniela Monet and Ivana Lynch. They are both longtime animal activists and self-care enthusiasts with a deep passion for curating the very best beauty products on the market. I also want to say a huge thank you to Kinder Beauty for sponsoring this video and providing me with an amazing beauty box filled with such great products. Check out the link provided down below for more information on the Kinder Beauty Box and also use my code in my link to get 50% off of your first Kinder Beauty Box which is an amazing deal that you don't want to miss out on. So stay tuned because later in the video I'm going to be doing an unboxing and trying out all the products that I got in my Kinder Beauty Box. This is what I have in my hair today. Um, this is probably my third bottle of this stuff. This is from the company Just Natural. Um, this company has loads of all natural stuff from skincare to tanning products, um, obviously hair treatment, shampoos, conditioners. They have a variety of things that can target every issue you're having, whether it's with your skin or your hair. So this is the Grow New Hair Treatment. I used to use this years ago. It's actually one of my favorite products, but I do have to dedicate time to it, which is why I haven't used it that often lately. But it says this nutrient-rich plant formula naturally sustains follicles for continued renewal and growth while adding shine and volume. It's actually made to be used on your roots, but I cover my whole head in it because it's got so many good things in this one little bottle and it helps all of my hair. So not only does it help with the growth, but it helps with the dryness and the rest of the hair issues that I have. So yeah, I'm using this. That's what's all over my head. I literally put tons of it all on my scalp, massaged it in my, into my scalp, and then I just put it all over my hair and then put my hair in braids just so my hair would be out of my way. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering what's in my hair, it's this. I actually swear by these products and I've been using them for probably three or four years now. I'll have them linked down below if you wanna check them out. I'm gonna put it back in my bathroom. So my nephew and his wife flew back to her hometown to visit her family. So that's why I'm watching Miss Tutu. Oh, Tutu is a wild one. She runs from me and she's always hiding. 
<laughs> but she's super cute and a little loving. Her and Cannoli don't get along that well, but it's all good. So my apartment definitely needs a little cleaning. This is a big hairball. Um, I, do, I need to clean my apartment today, but I'm not gonna be doing a deep cleaning or anything. I just need to straighten up. I need to vacuum. I need to straighten all this up. As you can see, the cats have been partying, having a good time together. Um, but yeah, this is what, this is what it's looking like, y'all. Oh, somebody's texted me. So if you like to see um, clean with me videos and cleaning motivation videos, then um, I'll be adding that in here because I am going to do some cleaning. I'll try to make it quick. I don't want to bore y'all. This is going to be like a day in the life, I guess. Or it'll just be whatever I feel like it being. So I know my kitchen doesn't look that dirty and a lot of people would say, oh, why are you cleaning an already clean kitchen? But honestly, that's not the case. Um, it's not that clean. Uh, and I also have to unload the dishwasher. I need to reload this. I had extra dishes that I had no room for, so I literally just left them in the sink all night. But I'm gonna clean the kitchen first and then I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. If you're wondering why I would clean first and then make a mess and then have to re-clean it, that's because I'm not really a fan of cooking in a dirty kitchen. I just don't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean really fast, then I'm gonna make myself probably some toast and eggs, and then I'll re-clean it after I make the mess from breakfast. It's okay if you think I'm crazy. I think I'm crazy also, but I also know a lot of people are the same way, so no big deal. So I'm using this Fabuloso, it's that Apple one I told y'all I really didn't like, but I'm still just gonna use up the rest of the product before purchasing a different one, but I'm just spraying it all over my counter and then I'm gonna wipe it with one of my rags. Tutu is literally just staring at me. Oh, of course she's gonna act like she's not now, but she was, don't let her fool you. Uh-huh, gotcha. So anyway, I've got my little pan here. I'm gonna be spraying this in the pan because I'm gonna make some over easy eggs. You know what? Let me check and see if I even have any eggs. Cause I might not, that would be fun. And you might ask, well, why would you put the carton back in there if you didn't have any eggs? Cause you know what? I'm having a nervous break. <laughs> um, okay, we got some empty eggshells here. That's good, that's good. Uh-oh, your girl got two eggs with my name on it. Um, Alan is home today, he wants breakfast also, but he wants oatmeal. So that means two eggs for me, woohoo. Anyway, I got the, the stove turned on, letting that heat up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this and then we're gonna heat this up as well. I guess um, after that, I can throw these away, right? Yeah, and then buy some more eggs. Yeah, sure. So Alan is gonna be having apple cinnamon oatmeal, which sounds really good right now. <laughs> but I only had one apple cinnamon left. The other one that I have is like cinnamon spice and I'm not the biggest fan of it. So Alan can have this and I'm gonna have the eggs. Tutu, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing, girl? She's running around like crazy. She's a crazy girl. She's a maniac. Aww. Oh, she pretty. She's pretty. Yeah, Tutu girl. 
So for my toast, I'm gonna to be using the rye and pumpernickel deli swirl. And I'm also gonna be sauteing some baby spinach and a little bit of butter to have as a side. Awkward. With sparks in the air, he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious like who they would be together. So here's my eggs, and I know you're probably thinking how I cracked the eggs in there was kind of funny, but it's because sometimes when I crack the eggs on the side of the pan, it lands on the stove and then I have to scrape it off because it like burns on there. So it's easier to just bang the egg into the pan and uh, yeah, then it doesn't make a mess. So I added some salt and pepper and some parsley on top. I'm gonna be flipping them in just a second. Here's Alan's oatmeal. I'm gonna give that to him now <laughs> off camera. So I flipped my eggs and I wanted to tell y'all that I love over easy eggs, but I have a love hate relationship with over easy eggs. I don't want a lot of runniness and I don't like when I see clear runniness. I find that disturbing. So um, I try to be careful with letting them cook, but not letting them cook too long because I want a little bit of that yolk for my toast, but I also don't want too much of it. It kind of grosses me out. So sometimes I'll just kind of check check in there maybe flip it again okay yeah I'm gonna flip it again just so it can cook just another minute longer so we're both having orange juice this morning this is the Kroger 100% um, orange juice with calcium I'm gonna pour it in my little glass here as he sang she started to dance grabbed his arm and took his hand here's my breakfast by the way I really want to cut into that egg and see if I was able to save a little bit of that yolk. Otherwise, it's just a fried egg, y'all. <laughs> Isn't my toast so cute, though, with the swirl? I love it. Okay, so let's see if I have any yolk in here. Well, first, I want to cut my toast. Oh, it's a little crunchy. Anyway, let's find out, huh? Oh, yeah. Got just enough for the toast but not too much that it'll freak me out. <laughs> Is there anybody else out there like that or am I the crazy one? All right, so anyways, I'm gonna go take my breakfast. We're actually watching um, TV right now in the bedroom. We're watching my cat from hell. It's really funny. These cats are crazy. I feel so bad for them though. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my breakfast in there. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey. Cookie loves Tutu. She was actually just out here playing with her before I picked everything up, but they get along pretty good. Miss Tutu is now just lounging on the chair. I think she's had enough playtime. You had enough playtime, Tutu? I say, girl, you just relax. So now I have another mess, which isn't no big deal. I still have to clean out the dishwasher, reload it, and just pick all this up now and wipe the counters off again, which honest to God, I don't mind. I really don't. <laughs> I like it. There's a new day to get you through your struggles. I will always think of you and me. Darling,
So I decided to take my GoPro out with us while we went on a walk down the trails. I really wanted to show y'all something really cool that we discovered recently that I'm kind of obsessed with, but the GoPro camera didn't pick it up as well. However, I did record the thing that I'm going to tell you about in a minute on my phone about a week ago. and maybe yesterday as well and I posted it on my TikTok where you'll be able to see it much better but so we've lived here for a few years and we've always seen these signs outside that say beware of alligator like there's three signs out there and we had never seen the alligator so we thought maybe it was just like a joke or maybe there was one in the past and they just left the signs up but surprisingly there's actually alligators back here so far we've got to see two of them there is a baby which is about three foot long which I'm coming up on now and then in a few minutes I come upon what I think or what I have heard is the mother of the baby alligator which is double the size but yeah they're just out there in the water chilling I think it's really cool um, I try to get as close as I can to them because I'm not really afraid of them they don't seem to want to bother me and I don't seem to want to bother them I'm just trying to get a little bit of footage on camera because I think it's awesome that there's alligators back there so that's why I filmed a walking around outside I wish that the GoPro would have picked up the alligators a little bit better but check out my TikTok. I'll have it linked down below you can see the alligator more up close because I'm able to zoom in on them and maybe another time I'll take my bigger camera out there where I can actually zoom up on the alligators face so you can see it better but I hope you enjoyed these little clips regardless I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on? the good 
your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a dream so anyway, we just got back from walking. We actually went and walked twice. We did a couple rounds the first time, which is what you've seen in the clips. And then we went again and we just got back. Um, so I'm gonna be reheating Alan the food that I made yesterday, which was like a chicken spaghetti. I'll show it to you, but I'm gonna be doing that now. So I'm also gonna be making him a spinach salad with olive oil and salt and pepper. And then this is the food that I made last night that I'm going to be reheating. Absolutely delicious. It never rings in California. The sun is always shining bright. So we just got finished eating and I was walking into my bedroom for something and I realized that I never made the bed today. I never cleaned my room at all. How about that? Hmm? What you think about that? So I'm gonna go ahead and make the bed now, so let's freshen this up real quick. I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep in the bed lying away. So anyway, I need to take a shower and wash the stuff out of my hair and then I'm going to be doing some skincare with all of the goodies I got in my Kinder box. I can't wait to show you all what I got in there. I got some really good stuff. Really good stuff. So I just got out of the shower. I have my hair in a towel because I hate doing skincare with my hair down. Even if I use a headband, I feel like it's gonna get in my hair. And my hair actually gets oily easily. And I don't like oils or lotions or anything touching my hair. And I mean like face stuff, you know. So anyway, I have my towel like this because ever since I got my 
piercing stuck in my other hair towel. I'm like terrified of it happening again. So this is gonna be the look for the night. Hope it's okay with you. Anyway, so I'm so excited to try out the products in my new Kinder Beauty box. So this is the 100% Pure Bright Eyes Mask. It says use this for a quick depuffing treatment for a longer hydrating eye mask before a big event. I have no big event except going to sleep tonight, but that's okay. We're gonna try these out anyway because they look really good. Um, you can tell they're super moisturized because there's the liquid inside the packet, so it's like soaking it up so well. I just had the most relaxing bath ever. I literally just filled the tub while I was in it with really hot water and Epsom salt and it was so relaxing okay oh oh liquids come out so one of them got stuck in the pack here I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this one out y'all know me I never know which way to put these on I never know if it's this way or the opposite way but we're gonna roll with it this way Ooh, I wish I could bottle up all the juices in here and just slather it on my eyes every day okay so I have these two on so this is a hydrogel that's composed of 95% aloe water and 5% plant cellulose. This mask is made to adhere to your face until your skin drinks up all the moisture. So here I am. I really need it too, by the way. Um, yeah, my hair and skin has been so dry, especially under my under eyes. So this is something that I actually really needed. This box would be perfect for a gift. Um, for yourself first of all but for a gift for someone else for like a pampering gift spa night i mean this box is perfect for anyone who's into skincare so yeah this is actually like the welcome box and i know the other boxes come with other things but this welcome box is awesome all right so i'm gonna set my timer i'm gonna leave these on for 20 minutes i feel like i look so scary right now in this angle it's the worst but i don't have a tripod so i'm i'm struggling right now but anyways all right i'm gonna leave these on for 20 minutes and then i'll come back and then we're gonna use the rest of the products in the kinder beauty box i'm so excited okay so i removed the eye mask those felt absolutely amazing next we are gonna go in with the hawaiian beauty water Give it a little shake, see how I feel about this. So this is, it says it tones, tightens, and chills at the same time. It has aloe and witch hazel, which work to fight blemishes and inflammation, while Hawaiian sandalwood, vetiver, and neroli, and blue tansy come together for a calming, fresh scent. That feels really refreshing, really nice. All right, we're gonna give this a second to dry. Then we're gonna go in with the Dirty Lamb Ultra Night Serum. This is vegan, um, it's used nightly, natural, and it's unisex. Soothe and calm your senses with lavender, lang lang, and orange oils. This luxurious serum contains a concentrated blend of antioxidants and fatty acid oils that will help hydrate and nourish your skin while you sleep. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Mmm, now that smells super citrusy and fresh. Oh, this serum feels good. Pretty thick consistency, but feels so good and velvety on my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my whole face. And then I'm also going to do my neck and my decollete. Okay, this stuff feels really luxurious. It feels really good on the skin. Love this product. We'll definitely be using those two products on a daily wish I could reuse those eye masks, but I can't. Anyway, so the next up is the Earth Harbor Mermaid Milk Nutrient Glow Moisturizer with matcha and spirulina. It's a long time kinder beauty favorite. This nourishing moisturizer is packed with spirulina, matcha, hyaluronic acid, and concentrated, word I don't know, um, and antioxidants that work together to lock in moisture, reduce redness, and boost radiance. 
All right, let's give it a try. I love the color of it. Let's see how this feels. Oh, girl. Wow. Mmm. Smells good. This has got to be the most interesting lotion I've ever felt on my skin. It literally feels like a drink of water. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. For some reason, it kind of feels cool as you're applying it. Wow, that is some good stuff. That is some good moisturizer. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be my new obsession. Hopefully it doesn't break me out or anything because my skin can be sensitive sometimes, but that felt great. So last but not least, we have the scrunchie, which I won't be using until my hair is dry. I'm gonna let my hair air dry, but I wouldn't wanna ruin my brand new scrunchie with wet hair. So anyways, let me tell you the prices of the products I just used. So first off, the Mermaid Milk retails for $42. The Hawaiian Beauty Water retails for $18. The Ultra Night Serum retails for $52, which is the most expensive thing in this box, wow. Um, the Eye Mask retail for $7 and the scrunchie which is a bamboo silk scrunchie retails for ten dollars um, it says diligent with your hair care but still seeing random breakage your hair tie might be to blame the silky smooth scrunchie is made from soft bamboo which means no ridges breakage or damage to your hair Ooh, i can't wait to use it that sounds so fun so yeah check out the kinder beauty box amazing company amazing products these products that i just used I have only used them once, obviously, right here and now, but I highly recommend them. I cannot wait to use that cream again. I'm actually gonna make Alan try it because I've never felt something so soft. I can't even explain it. Probably one of the best feeling lotions I've ever applied to my skin. So anyways, yeah, check out the Kinder Beauty Box. I'll have a link down below, as well as a coupon. Um, you can save money on your first purchase of your first Kinder Beauty Box, and that is the box that you will be receiving. So yeah, I hope I've given y'all enough information on the Kinder Beauty Box. Hope you enjoy the unboxing. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands now. I'm gonna take my hair out of this hair towel. I'm gonna brush my hair, apply some products, let it air dry a little bit, and then zap it with a blow dryer to finish it off. Um, but yeah, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. It is eight o'clock now, so we're probably just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Yeah, okay, anyway, so for my hair, I used the last drop of this. I definitely wanna repurchase this. It's totally empty. I don't know why I put it back in the drawer. I guess it's good I did, so I can tell you about it. It's the Palmer's Coconut Oil Leave-In um, Conditioner for dry, damaged, or color treated hair, instant detangling, and foam through. Very good stuff. And then, <laughs> y'all's gonna laugh at me. But I also used the last drop of this. Again, I don't know why I put it back in the drawer, but okay. Um, so yeah, the IT brand 12-in-1 amazing leave-in treatment. So I used those two. And then I also, I also used this product. Um, I used to use this a long time ago when I was living in Virginia, and I loved it. It works so good. And then I ran out of it, and I didn't repurchase it. So the other day I seen they were having a sale. It was 50% off. So I got it. I was like, I can't pass up that good of a deal. 50% off. So yeah, I got some of this. It's the It's a 10 Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. It works really well to volumize your hair. You can spray it all over or just spray it on your roots. It adds volume, adds shine. It's humidity resistant, build up free, holds hairstyle, UV protectant, non-flaking, touchable thickness, non-sticky or stiff and never crunchy. That's what it says, but this stuff works really good. So yeah, that's what I put on my hair. So I'm gonna let it air dry a little bit. See how that goes. I just realized me and Alan are matching, and yes, Alan does have the eye patches on, um, but we're matching. He's got baby blue sweatpants on, I've got the baby pink sweatpants on, white tank top, white tank top. How cute is that? Wow, we just realized the whole time we were filming that Kiki was on top of the icebox watching us. <laughs> that felt so invasive seeing her in the playback. Queen Kiki. 
So anyways, it is 9.15 now, and we've just been laying in bed watching South Park. I put these rollers in my hair. I let my hair air dry, and then I blow dried it just a little bit to finish it off, and then I put these rollers in. So I've just been chilling, letting them form the volume. They don't really curl, but um, they give a little bit of volume. So yeah, that's what I've been doing, just in case you were wondering.